chapter 7, verse 8. The Bible says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 9, listen carefully. The Bible says, The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My loss shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, every stubborn pursuers of my father's house or mother's house after my life fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every stubborn pursuers of my father's house or mother's house fall down and die in Jesus' name. You're welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV show dedicated for dreams, interpretation, and warfare prayers. By the grace of God, we are one of the best biblical dream interpretation ever on YouTube. So if you want to get accurate interpretation to your dreams, this is the right channel. Any other dream interpreter, they may confuse you. But here we talk about the word of God, how to deal about them, and with prayers. Today's topic is being chased. Being chased by animals, spiritual meaning. Being chased by animals, spiritual meaning. You see the same thing as spiritual meaning of being chased by animals. Now, if you see two animals, that is, if you see two, if you, who's animal? If you see two goats, goat, they are pursuing themselves. The purpose is to cast that goat, cast that goat. Is to cast that goat, and when you see somebody, when you see someone pursuing another person, the purpose is to cast that person, deal with that person, and in the process, the other person that is being pursued can either fall down as a result of that running, 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 endless running, nowhere to stop. The Bible says in that Exodus we just read, the Bible said the enemy said. You see, I will pursue, I will overtake and spoil and divide the spoil. It's the plan of the enemy. They want to pursue, they want to overtake, I want to divide the spoil. I pray for you today. Whatever this, whatever sword the enemy is using to chase you, that sword will die in Jesus' name. So, in the process of being pursued, it's either you are tired, you give up, or your enemy caught you in that revelation. I pray your enemy will never catch you in Jesus name. So we are going to tell you the spiritual meaning of animals. You are being chased by animals. Being chased by animals. What type of animals are chasing you in that dream? What type of animals? Yes, you wake up from that dream. You are not really okay. What type of animals? We are going to talk about it. We are going to talk about the meaning of those animals being chased. What are the spiritual meaning? Praise the living Jesus. Do you see yourself being chased by animals in a dream world? If yes, what type of animals is pushing you? Is it goat, dog, snake, cow, cat, bird, crocodile? If animal is pushing you in the dream, there are spiritual meaning behind the revelation. Most of these animals could be chasing you for good or bad purposes. However, not all dreams of animals pushing you could be bad, except of your spiritual man alerting you of an impending troubles. In general, if you are being chased by poisonous, take note of this keyword, poisonous and wild animals. As Christians, you need to pray against dark powers, stubborn pursuers after our life, after our goals, after our opportunities. Because as this animals, this and this particular animal is pushing you, it may it might be that they are pushing you, yes. But spiritually, it could be they are pushing you, they are pushing your goals, they are pushing. It could be that that animal could be that enemy, someone that betray you, your your friends. They want to attack you, they want to push your goal, they want to arrest you. Now, the reason why you are being pursued is that. You know when when police when police arrest somebody arrest maybe a thief or somebody and that person break that jail 
What do you think that person will do? That person will run. And the police will be chasing after that person. Do you understand? It's, that person is what is running away from captivity. Now, if you say animals pursuing you, is that you are running away from captivity. So the enemy saw that you have been escaped. They want to do what? They want to pursue you. Just like you said, the enemy said, I will pursue, overtake, and divide the spoil. I pray the enemy will never get you in Jesus' name. So if the animal caught you in the process of pursuing you and bites you, you need to pray very, very well because spiritually, it means you will lose a battle and you will not be able to overcome that present challenges. So in this video, we will tell you the spiritual meaning behind animals chasing you. Masculine chasing you, cats chasing you, cat chasing you, um, crocodile chasing you, goat chasing you, you haven't seen rats chasing you. So, however, if the animal is unable to get you in the process of pushing you, it means that your enemy will not be able to harm or hurt you. So, it's good for you to flee away from that trouble, from that captivity. The enemy knows that you are being set loose from that problem. They are pushing you. They are pushing you. Why? Because you have been escaped from that problem. It's as a result of deliverance. You are escaped. Escaped. But it could be spiritual animals. It could be your enemy. It could be that friend that is jealous of you. It could be that friend that is envying you. That person does not want you to progress. Because actually it can also be being that uh, you are actually progressing. But this evil friend, they want to bring you back. Because when you are being pursued, you, you, you have to exert your energy, all the old energy to run, to run, to run, to run to your goals. You, you have somewhere to go. But this enemy, these forces behind you, these evil voices, they want to drag you back. May you never be dragged back by these stubborn pursuers of your father's heart or all these strange friends that is working against your progress in Jesus' name. So, by the grace of God, I have the 12 spiritual meaning of animals being pursued, pursuing a Christian, pursuing Christian, the born again Christian. Praise the living Jesus. So, the spiritual meaning of animals, any type of animals, wild animals, poisonous animals, especially when you wake up from that dream, you are really panting. Wake up. <sighs> That's a demonic dream. This dream, this meaning is applicable to you. To you. So when you wake up from that dream, you are like afraid, threatened. You are like, hey, Jesus Christ. You are like, something was going on. This meaning is applicable to you. Because not all dreams of animal pursuing you may literally be evil, depending on the theme of that dream. So what does it mean if animals is pursuing you in the dream, the spiritual meaning? Number one, it represents spiritual battle. Spiritual battle. It could be a battle from your foundation. Battle. Nobody ever progressed in your family. It's a battle. When a person, when somebody in the family gets a certain place in life, there will be battle. Enemies will be ranging against that person. Animals chasing you is a symbol, is a symbol of spiritual battle. So that kind of dream is preparing you for a battle. Or if you know that you're already in battle, you have to pray, God, arise and do what? Fight my battle. Because you can't run the race alone. You are running. You can't run the race alone. You need that spiritual support. You need divine intervention in your life to overcome that battles in your life in Jesus' name. Number two spiritual meaning of being pursued by animals in a dream is it represents spiritual weaknesses. You'll be weak. You are running, running, running from pillar to post. Running from Lagos to Abuja in the dream. Running from Abuja to Kaduna. Running from Kaduna to USA. Running from USA. You are just running. Wandering spirit. Wandering spirit give way for weaknesses. And that represents spiritual weakness. You'll be weak to pray. You'll be weak to read Bible. Because the enemy have exerted, have exhausted your spiritual energy. So if you have been pursued by animals in the dream, it means that spiritual weakness. You have to pray. God, revive my inner man. Fire of God, enter me. I swallow the fire of God. Number three, meaning of animal pursuing you. It means, it means restlessness. The spirit of restlessness. Oh, you were actually running in the dream. You'll be restless. 
I, want, I, I don't know how to put this in your Bible, but just like people that does not want you to rest, have peace of mind. These are the categories of people. I want you to go see me in your in that is in your I want you to make you see me. Meaning that those people that does not want you to rest, God will fight them in Jesus' name. So number four minute of being pursued by animal is it represents demonic attacks. Yes, demonic attacks. Oh, I was watching one movie many times ago. So that person was dreaming where a particular animal was pushing him. So when the person woke up from that dream, hey Jesus, 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 Jesus. And the person and the person went down on his knee and began to pray. I reject evil attack. I reject evil attack. Evil attack. Demonic attack against me and my children and my career. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. And today, God rejected him and his family. So when you are being pursued, it means demonic attack. Number five, it represents fear and threat. If you are being pursued by animals in the dream, spiritual meaning means represent fear and threat. Someone is putting fear in your life. Someone is threatening your life. You are in an organization. There is no you. The, so your, your your boss places you high, but now the moment they places you high, enemy is born. Fear comes in. Hey God, how am I going to walk in this place, in this environment? Fear, threat from betrayer. You have to be very watchful as a result of this dream. Number six, it represents laboring without results. Now, you were actually running. They were pursuing you. Now, what is the purpose of running in that dream? You don't even know. Laboring without results. A lot of Christians today, even pastors, they are laboring without any result to show. You are in the ministry. For many years, you have been running, 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 exerting all your energy. But what can you show for your effort of the past? What can you show? The enemy is engaging you in spiritual battle. And yes, you are weak. You need divine intervention. So it means that laboring without result. Number seven, it represents frustration and disappointment. You are being pursued. When somebody is pursuing you in the real life, maybe your enemy. Maybe, maybe you, 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 maybe for example, now you stole something for someone, and someone, ah, this person, you took my money, and person begin to pursue you. Now, you now got to the point, first that person begin to pursue you from, from bush to bush, from forest to forest, to the extent, you now got to a point, you now feel relaxed, you feel frustrated. Why did I even commit this evil against this person? You were disappointed. You were actually responding to the command of that evil voices you are actually frustrated being pursued by animals please pastor please take note of this i'm telling you being pursued you are pursued by animals you have to pray very well that spirit of frustration and disappointment need, need to be cast out from your life number eight it represents denial of progress these stubborn pursuers they are denying you of your progress they want to deny you they want to stagnate you they want you to toy. They are different. Yes. My, my, my spiritual friend has said, the I said, there are some people, they will be running, but they are not progressing. Denier of that progress. Some people are running, but they are not progressing. Sometimes you see somebody that is crawling, and somebody that is running, you discover that that person that is crawling is more progressive than that person that is running. This is not idioms. This happened in the realm of the spirit and it's happening in our own eyes. I pray. May you never move or run without progress in Jesus' name. Then um, number nine, it represents the spirit of sweating and wondering. Wondering. The spirit of sweating. Because anybody that runs, they are, have you ever seen those athletes running? They will always sweat. They must always sweat. That is spirit of sweating. And when that spirit, that spirit, that sweat comes, it is trouble, wandering. In the realm of the spirit, the, these animals, they are pursuing for you to wander about. Where are you running to? You don't know. Sweating, struggle. Today, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit of sweating without anything to show for the sweating. Today, I rebuke that spirit from your life. And that spirit of wandering around your life, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Number 10. If you are being pursued by animal in the daily spiritual meaning, it represents bad people against your life and your plans. Bad people against your life and your plans. If animals are pushing you, it might if goat is pushing you, it might not be the goat of your household. Not that you just wake up in the morning and begin to go and kill that goat. No. It is the, the enemy they are using that animals to project evil against you. There's somebody in your life secretly. Don't tell anybody. Don't even allow that person to know. Is that person that is against your life? Jesus Christ has enemies. No matter the good you do, you do to people, enemies will come. Envy will come. So that animal pursuing is as a result of envy, bad people against your plans. You have to be very, very watchful and know the type of people you share some sensitive information about your life, destiny, and sources. Then number 11, it means being chased out of your place of destiny. You were actually in a place, in your environment, that place of fulfillment, that land filled with milk and honey, but you discover that you were sent out. Just like God angrily sent out Adam and Eve from that garden, you were sent out as a result of these powers. They know that this are the place where you will fulfill your destiny. You are in the place of an you are in the place of organization, one organization right now. God has decided, God has commanded that that place you will excel for this evil people to gang up against you and evict you out from that organization. But now you are begging. Today, any power that is chasing you out from that place of your destiny, that power will die. And that place where God has destined you to succeed, to grow, to increase, to enlarge, you will stay there. No evil will invite you out from that place in Jesus' name. Number 12, it means people are plotting for your downfall and disgrace. If you are being chased by human beings with high speed, that person will want you to fall so that when you fall, they can be able to arrest you. That is the spiritual meaning. When people are pursuing you, it's either they want you to fall, so that if you can fall, they can be able to arrest you and disgrace you. I pray for you today. Every power or any man or woman that wants you to fall, so that they can see the back of your destiny. Today, the Lord will frustrate them in Jesus' name. The way out, give your life to Christ, confront your fear and overcome it, ask God to save you from troubles, raise a prayer altar against stubborn pursuers, renounce every evil association that you may have joined, protect yourself with the blood of Jesus. Instruction and back on three days fasting and prayer from 6 and 3 p.m. Close your eyes, take this prayer point. Say, every demonic animal assigned to put me back in bondage, die in the name of Jesus. Every demonic animal assigned to put me back in bondage, die in Jesus' name. See, I receive the boldness to confront the powers battling with my destiny in the name of Jesus. I receive the boldness to confront, to confront the powers battling with my destiny in Jesus' name. See, every power saying I am going nowhere, cast fire in the name of Jesus. Every power saying I am going nowhere in life, Cast fire in Jesus' name. Last prayer. See, every strange animal declaring war with me, I overcome you in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord will fight for you and the Lord will deal with the powers that are pursuing you. And those powers that is hiding behind that animal, they shall be exposed within three days. And the Lord will, 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 will separate you from those evil friends designed to waste your life in Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family in Jesus' name. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.